red flag warning for high wind and so we're going to hook up Harry the truck and I'm going to take a little video of this. First get the truck into position right underneath the bumper pull and then stay tuned for the rest. First thing we're going to do is lower it onto the truck going counterclockwise. Wise, whatever. All the way down takes quite a few rotations until you hear it engage. Then I usually take my foot to push that in. All right, I push it in with my foot, which I was not able to film at the same time. And then this lock goes down. And then I'm going to put the pin in. Sometimes I have trouble with this for some reason. Which is all the more reason why you want to have the truck hooked up in advance. Okay, pin is in. Then we're going to hook up the chain with your first cross. And they go right in there. One. Sometimes I get my thumb caught. There's two. Then the emergency breakaway thing, which strings through. here, thread it through, and hook it back on to itself. It should have some slack. And also these chains should be about three inches above, three to five inches above the pavement. Then it's time for the electrical. goes in here and gonna have to turn off the camera for a minute. It's fairly self-explanatory and then when I turn the truck on I make sure that the lights are working. Now we need to remove the block and make sure this is put up all the way. So since the truck is engaged and we don't need the stability of this anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and again go counterclockwise. So it's all the way up, which takes a while. Basically do it until there's, you no longer can move it anymore. And once that's gone, you can remove the block. And then go around and remove these from all the wheels of the trailer. Okay, then we are ready to roll.